in this video, I want to kind of revisit a very popular, one of my more popular videos on my channel, and that is loudness normalization in Final Cut Pro so that it can be brought onto YouTube. But before I even get started with this video, first I want to give a definition of what loudness normalizing is. Okay, so now since we have the definition of loudness normalizing, we also will focus on two points. One being the LUI field. And the second one being true peaks. And being that this particular video is demonstrating uh, on loudness normalization going to YouTube. YouTube has its own specification of what they consider to be their loudness uh, normalization range and that is as followed. Okay, so now that we got all of that out the way, we can now start to do our loudness normalization in Final Cut. So here we are in Final Cut, and for demonstration sake, um, I already have the project ready and already have everything set up so we can just get right into it. Um, so as you can see, I have audio. This is just my little intro. I have audio in the intro. I also have audio down here. This is just background music and I also have audio within this video, okay? So, once you get uh, do, your, do your project and once you get your audio exactly how you like it, it's now to actually start the process of uh, loudness normalizing, all right? So what, what you want to do first, you want to, you want to make a compound, a compound clip, so, easy all you have to do is just highlight the whole project right click and say new compound clip all right you can name it whatever you whatever you like to name it I'm just gonna keep it as is for just purposes of this example hit OK and now a compound clip has been created where all of the, the entire the entire project is just combined into one clip all right, so now that we have that together, all right, we want to go, and now we want to go into the audio section. So here's the audio section. We want to go into specialize, and we're looking for the multi-meter effect, all right? Once you put that in, we're gonna go to the audio section here go down and we have the multimedia effect right here we want to call that window up okay i'm going to just bring this down to 75 percent so we can see everything all right so with this particular window right here you're going to run through your entire your entire pro, uh, program or your entire project and it's going to quote unquote analyze your project far as the true peaks and all that kind of stuff. So first thing you want to do, you want to go into this section right here and just select true peaks and everything else can pretty much stay the same. All right. So once you do that, then we will run the whole project. Okay. Now that's done on first go and all we're going to focus on is the lui and the true peaks level okay so as you can see it's saying minus 22.2 far as the lue and the true peaks are at negative 3.9 on the left side and negative 4.3 on the right side 
So what we're looking for, we're looking for, as you saw, as um, far as what the YouTube specifications are, they, they say anywhere between negative 13 and negative 15. I like to get it to negative 16 just to be on the safe side. And far as my true peaks, I want my true peaks to be anywhere. I try to get it at um, 1.6, at 1.6. All right, so what do I do next? I go over to the audio effects se uh, section over here and I go to levels and I'm looking for the limiter. Some people can use the limit. Some people like to use the limiter. Some people like to use the compressor. I choose the limiter itself. So we will drag that into the source. And when we go over here, what you want to do, you want to take the limiter and you need to put the limiter over top of the multimeter effect. All right. In order for this to work. So now that we are in the limiter wi limiters window, these are the specifications that, that I use in order to get the proper loudness normalization target. All right, so look ahead. I'm going five. Output, like I said, output, we're looking at negative 1.6. So I'll start off with that. Release, release I always put at 250. Okay, now gain. As you see right here, we're looking at minus, we're looking at minus 22.2. So I'm going to go if I'm trying to hit 16 for my first go, just to run a test, I'm going to go 6.0 dB. And you also right here, you wanna change this to legacy to get the soft knee. All right, so let's see what we get on our first go around far as correcting the loudness normalization. Let's see what we get. All right, so let's see what we have. So the LUI, we're looking at 18.2. And for the true peaks, we're looking at what? Minus 1.7 and minus nine, uh, 1 1.9. So this can be a very tedious process, but what, what you would do, you'll just keep on trying to mess with the knobs and all that kind of stuff to try to get it exactly at the points that you're trying to get. Once again, I'm trying to get minus 16 and I'm trying to get the true peaks anywhere between mainly 1.6. So as I said, this is a very tedious process, but uh, you just keep trying until you get the, the numbers that you're trying to get. So I pretty much already know which numbers I'm trying to get because I already, you know, did an example in the background. So let's go ahead on and make the changes and let's see what we get. And also too, the main two knobs or the main two levels that I always end up messing with are the gain and the output level. I never, I never touch the release and I never touch, touch the look ahead. So let's see what we can get this time. All right, here we go. All right, so there you go. So let's look at the results. As you can see, the LUI is negative 16.2 and left, right, true peaks are at negative 1.6 across the board. And this is exactly what I'm, I, I use um, when I do loudness normalization in Final Cut Pro to go onto YouTube. 